To most, urine is a fluid formed by the kidneys that carries waste from the body. To others, it's an incredible sexual turn on. Well, I've got this reputation uh, and uh, uh, what they call a Sydney gay icon of being being trough man. Uh, and uh, what, well, how I got this reputation was that I'm I'm really into piss. I like um, I like what what they call water sports, and that is, that involves um, uh, getting into uh, urine and uh, and being pissed off. Oh yes, particularly being pissed on, that's my particular specialty. How I got the reputation trough man there though is that I actually um, have got a reputation of doing it in public and at big parties and events such as Mardi Gras and Sleaze and uh, New Year and these sorts of things where I actually uh, get down in the urinal in the men's toilets where there's a lot of activity and um, and spend quite a sizable night, part of the night being, being pissed on by about every single man, man in the place and it's great. I think he's lost all sense of reality. I think he's off the planet. I do it because it's a uh, it, it's a sexual turn on for me. It's something that, that, that really excites me. Um, I discovered it by accident. Um, I, I didn't even understand, you know that it existed. And then I walked in this pub, and this was all happening. People were doing this, and I wanted to do it. And when it happened for the first time, it just it just opened all these amazing doors of, of, of sexual excitement. Well, I reckon that he loves it so what? Well, I was 28, and I walked into a club in New York, and uh, we went into this uh, fabulous club where you went down through all these levels to the basement, and there was this bathtub, and uh, the person I was with said, um, well, we know what that's for, and I didn't have a clue. But about half an hour later, I saw someone lying in that bathtub and about 20 people uh, moving to the front to try and piss all over him. And in another 20 minutes, I was in there. It was, it was a great experience. And I've been doing Mardi Gras since I was pretty well 16. I uh, did my first one. Trough Man was basically a legend then. He's a legend now. He always will be. I didn't seek any of the fame, but I, but, but, but it's just, it, it's just wonderful to be part of a community that feels that way, and it's, and, and has that sort of, sort of energy in, a, in a, an openness and, and all that sort of stuff. It's great. No, no, no I've seen him um, briefly. It was dark. It was dark. Um, but he was there. I heard him. He said thanks. Oh yes. Uh, it's. It's a sexually liberating experience, it's a sexually exciting experience, it's a psychosexual um, connection with the other person, it's, it's something that, that uh, uh, and I appreciate as much uh, of what they're doing and what they're contributing to it as, as, as I am contributing to it. And it really is, that's what people don't understand. Some people say, oh, it's a humiliation exercise, I mean, you know, you're, you're sort of, but it's not like that at all. It really isn't. That can be, if that's where your psychosexual is sort of attitudes are, but to me it's a giving and a sharing thing. It's a person sort of um, giving of themselves to the, uh, the, to the other man and it's that man also in, uh, engaging with that man and enjoying what, the, uh, what they're experiencing as well. Oh yes, I thank them. I thank every man I've ever had sex with. Our biggest concern was how was Trop Man ever going to get home in the morning? That's what we'd ask him. Yeah. How did you get home did in the you morning after the party? Did you get in a cab or <laughs> some very good Samaritan friend drop you off? <laughs> very good Samaritan friend. <laughs> Pop a plastic sheet down. <laughs> Sit on a glad bag, Troppy.